welcome or welcome back to the channel thanks some by hope you're good i've got my little helper with me which means it's time for another <laughs> <I'm bonding. laughs> yeah yeah oh, okay. Okay. are you happy yeah okay <laughs> it's just that i was just making sure i didn't show you because i wasn't looking at the camera oh okay right so shall we see what we've got Oh, two things at once, two things at once. Okay, so we've got two bookmarks. We've got our spook mark with our short story on the back. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> and it says that there's a photo competition for a chance to win a signed James Herbert hardback. Take a selfie, photo or video with the creature's eyes as your own. Post it to Instagram, TikTok or Facebook, tagging a bomb book club and two friends who like horror. So I've got to do that. Oh, wait, I, wait, what about me? Can't we? Can I do it? Ooh, scary. What do I look like? Uh, scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like that bookmark too. Right, what else have we got then, buddy? This is because there's everything else before I get my... Right. This is more important right now. It's well, scary. I'll put that over here because I don't want to have any spoilers. Right, just making sure there's nothing else that is not a book. And it shouldn't be, I think it's all probably just books. Are you sure about that? Oh, well, I won't look because that could also be a spoiler. <laughs> Can I get a book? Uh, yep, finally a book. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay, 19 Claws and a Blackbird by Augustina Bastarica. Frankly this is the same. It's not Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yes, that's Frankenstein, but this is not. <laughs> uh, this is the same author that did Tender as the Flesh, which I really love. And I think I actually saw about this recently and I had no idea it was coming out, but it's um, short stories. In these tense, chilling stories, bodies fall from the sky, perfectly manicured nails conceal grisly secrets and violence pulses behind gleaming facades. From hellish visions to obsessive relationships, Augustina Bastarica takes us to the dark heart of human desires and fears. Shocking, brutal, yet glinting with sharp humour, this is a breathtaking dive into human monstrousness from a master of contemporary horror. That's cool. I really like that cover. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, good. So that's cool. I had literally had no idea this was coming out, but I'm sure I saw somebody talking about it very recently. I can't remember who it was. Um, but yeah, definitely keen to give that a go. Okay, what else have we got, Jay? What Kind of Mother by Clay McLeod Chapman. Oh, okay, that's exciting. Because I read another Clay McLeod Chapman and I really liked it. What was it? I think it was Whisper Down the Lane. What are you doing? I'm being funny. You're in a weird mood today. <laughs> right, let me read the back of this. After striking out on her own as a teen mother, Maddie Price is forced to return to her hometown of Brandywine, Virginia with her 17-year-old daughter. With nothing to her name, she scrapes together a living as a palm reader at the local farmer's market. It's at the market that she reconnects with her high school boyfriend, Henry McCabe, now a reclusive local fisherman whose infant son, Skylar, went missing five years ago. Everyone in town is sure Skylar is dead, but when Maddie reads Henry's palm, she's haunted by strange and disturbing visions that suggest otherwise. As she follows the thread of those visions, Maddie discovers a terrifying monster waiting at the centre of the labyrinth, and it's coming for everyone she holds dear. That sounds really cool. That sounds really cool. I'm sure it was Whisper Down the Lane. Yes, it was Whisper Down the Lane. I read that and I really, really enjoyed it. So that makes me very excited to read more from Claire McLeod Chapman. Okay, so we should just have our pre love book now, right? Yes, right. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, that one's weird. Oh, it's got like a little tail. It's got a little tail. I don't think that was a um, post. Well, that's what happens with wax, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a mind of its own. My does what it wants. Oh, no. It's such a nutter. Mind of its own. Oh, sorry. Oh. Wow. Jesus, careful. 
Uh, oh, okay. It's the death of Mrs. Westaway, which I've already read. Oh. I don't, it's not this cover, but I'm pretty sure I own this. Or I at least owned it at some point and have read it. So that's fine. It was good. I really enjoyed The Death of Mrs. Westaway, but I have already read it. So um, I'll read it back oh, to you anyway. Wow. When Harriet Westaway receives an unexpected letter telling her she's inherited a substantial bequest from her Cornish grandmother, it seems like the answer to her prayers. There's just one problem. Hal's real grandparents died more than 20 years ago. Hal desperately needs the cash and makes a choice that will change her life forever. She knows that her skills as a seaside fortune teller could help her con her way to getting the money. But once Hal embarks on her deception, there is no going back. She must keep going or risk losing everything, even her life. Yeah, I've definitely read that one. But yeah, it was really good. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So, the letter... And the uh, sign book plate are for Claim of Chapman. So they will go in there so that I can read that when I read the book. Wow. So that's the only letdown, but only because I've already read it. That's the only problem. But both of these sound so good. Do you have a favourite? Um... Do you have a favourite cover? <laughs> You're going to say this one, aren't you? Because yellow is your second favourite colour. Well, that one has red, but... Well, it does, yeah. It does have a bit of red. So is it that one? Yeah. Of course. Any of bit course. of red? Of course. <laughs> I tried to get you to move away. I thought this might win out because it's yellow. You like yellow too. Yeah. But if there's any red on it, it's going to win. Well, I mean, like, at least this might be red. Yes. Yeah, it's a good one. Okay, so three very good books. One I've read, two I'm very excited for. Um, in particular, this one, because I've been wanting to read some more by Clay McCall Chapman. So that is really, really good. So another good box, and let's not forget our creepy... You want to wear that until the end? Yeah. Okay, I thought you might. <laughs> I'm a monster. You're a monster. That is true. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, is that true? You're a little monster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bend it. I'm not. Oh, I'm not bending it. Will I, uh, will I decide when I might not lie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's it for this unboxing. If you have any thoughts on any of the books that we've received, let us know in the comments below. If you just want us to know you're here, that purple heart is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more of this, remember to hit that button, leave a like if you want to, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! Bye. You're gonna... Wait, does it do it with Paul? No. Not?